Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. What's prompting me to do this video today is I just received an email from someone in a panic. They have Lightroom open and all they see is their image. They don't see any of the Lightroom panels. And they're wondering what happened and what can they do to get those panels back. Well, what probably happened is they accidentally hit the F key on their keyboard and went to full screen mode. Lightroom has a number of different screen modes and it's worth talking about them because sometimes you might be in a screen mode that is restricting something you want to do and it's good to know how to switch these different screen modes from one to another. Now, if you are in full screen mode like I am now, just hit the F key on your keyboard and you'll return to what's called normal mode. When you first install Lightroom on your computer, it will be in what they call normal mode what you're seeing here. Now it isn't a full like app mode. You could see that I could move my window around so it is not maximized. You could see on a Mac I have the three little circles over here on the left to minimize or close the application. On a PC of course you'll have those little squares on the right. That's normal mode. You'll see all that. Now since I'm demoing this on a Mac and I'm kind of making some assumptions of what these different screen modes might do or look like on a PC, if I'm wrong about any of those, uh, just in the comments below, correct me so everyone knows what, you know, the, what it really will do or look like for a PC user uh, using Windows. All right, now, I mentioned we're in normal screen mode. The screen modes are under the window menu at the top. And if you go down to screen mode, you'll see I'm in normal screen mode. The one below that is full screen with menu bar. That maximizes the app, but it keeps the menus at the top. So those are still viewable up there. If I go up to window, but you'll notice I should add those three little circles are missing. And I'm making the assumption that on a Windows computer, the three little squares will be missing on the right on a PC. So um, there's no way to get those back when you're in this mode. So I have received emails from people in the past, uh, you know, in a panic because they don't have the little X and the little minimize and all that stuff up there. So that's because they're in this full screen mode. Now, if we go up to window, down to screen mode, and the one below that, that's full screen. And you can see that it's not with a menu bar. So when I choose that one, the menu bar at the top disappears. It will reappear on a Mac. If I go up to the top, you'll see it will fold back down. So it's there, it's just not there in normal operation. If we go up to Window, down to Screen Mode, and you can see the one below that is Screen View Preview. That's full screen mode that I just had. So when I do that, you can see we'll go to full screen mode. And to get out of it, hit the F key again. Go up to Window, down to screen mode and then you can see that there's one all by itself full screen and hide panels shift command f on a mac it's shift control f on a pc when we do that you're basically just gonna get go you're going to get rid of all the panels now it didn't do it for some reason we'll go up there and just do it again see if this uh does it this time there it goes now it got rid of it now to bring it back Shift Command F on a Mac, Shift Control F on a PC. So you bring those back. And I often do that actually uh, for whatever reason. I'm not sure why, but I am often hitting those uh, three keys keyboard shortcut to get rid of all the panels at once. If I go back down to screen mode, and then you could see you could go to the next screen mode. That's Shift F. And it, you could kind of toggle through um, the screen modes like that. So I prefer on my Mac to use the normal mode. Why I prefer this is when I do my screen recordings, when I uh, start the recording, it has a five second countdown. And the five second countdown when I'm in this mode will be right here. So it counts down and then when it's at zero, I know I could start talking, it's recording the screen. If I'm in any of the full screen modes, like if I go up to window, and I go to screen mode and I go to full screen with menu bar, let's say, that countdown timer won't show. It's not there, it's behind the app. So that's why I prefer to stay in the normal mode. Um, other people may have other applications that they need to have running and to see, 
And if that's the case, they're probably going to want to be in normal mode as well. But it's really personal preference. But you should understand these screen modes because you may accidentally get yourself in one and you prefer to be in a different one. And now you'll know how to switch between them. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.